Hey, what's up guys? Um, I'm going to do a quick video on how I paint um, my urethane Batman Beyond cowls. So these are available. Um, if you guys want one, contact me uh, through my Instagram, Edge Designs. Um, so this is one right out of the mold. Um, it's obviously been trimmed and it's been cleaned, but it hasn't been painted. So this is how it would come out of the mold. And this is what they look like after they've been painted. So they're scratch proof, stretch proof, they're not tacky, and it gives a nice sheen to it. So this is how each one comes. But before, they're just like this, like a standard cowl. So here we have a cowl that I didn't make, unpainted. So. All right, so I'm gonna teach you guys how I do this. Um, I've had a few people ask me how to do it. Um, so the product that I use is Tulip Color Shot Fabric Spray Paint, except for when you spray this, it gives you a texture which you don't want. So I'll show you guys the texture. So this is what happens if you spray it. It leaves this texture all over it and you don't want that. So obviously we're going to use black. You can see I've used this one. I just spray it into a jar and then I apply it with a sponge brush so that you can really get in there. Um, the only other thing you're gonna need for this is when this comes out of the mold, it's gonna be really dirty. You can wash it off with water, but before you start painting, I like to rub, uh, rub some isopropyl alcohol over it with just a rag, just to get all that dust and uh, plaster particles that are still stuck on it off. So after you're done rubbing it down with this, give it about 20 minutes and then you're ready to paint. So, before we paint, I'm going to take these out and uh, we'll get started. Alright, so uh, I apologize if I get in the way, um, but we're about to start painting. So, like I said, it's just the color shot stuff that I've completely emptied into this jar. I'm going to apply it with a sponge brush. Make sure, make sure that your sponge brush is nice and clean. The reason I like to use a sponge brush, um, you can actually probably use a rag too or even just a regular sponge is because it really helps penetrate the rubber. So the reason that most paints don't stick to urethane is because there's like a gas that's released off of the surface of urethane that repels most acrylics and spray paints or whatever. So it's really hard to find stuff that sticks. But um, this stuff, uh, I'm not sure exactly why it works, but it works. And it doesn't leave a tacky finish, it doesn't rub off, and uh, yeah, so here's the gray. This is what, I got this at Michael's, it's 10 bucks. Um, but Walmart sells this too, but specifically the Color Shot stuff. I haven't tested any of the other tulip paints, but I do know the Color Shot uh, specifically works. All right, so the way you're gonna do this is you're gonna start at the top and work your way down, that way you're not touching it. By the time that we get down here, this is going to be dry. This stuff cures really fast. So, so some paper towel because this stuff is kind of messy. And then, excuse my arm, I'm just going to start up here. And don't let it be runny. Just really rub it in. You're basically staining the cowl. So those of you who watch Paul Roberts, he showed that you could stain a urethane and a latex cowl. This is kind of the same thing. You're basically staining the cowl. Make sure you get the tips of the ears, but you really want to rub it in. This stuff dries pretty quick. Um, I haven't had any issues with like my brush sticking to it or anything. I'm, I'm fairly confident in what I'm doing and I'm pretty fast, but I just want to make sure you're really penetrating the rubber and you're pushing it in because if you just leave it on the surface, it's going to be all runny and you don't want that. 
So there's one ear done. So let's do the other ear. Again, I apologize if I'm in the way. I can't really see what the camera can see. And just make sure you get the tip. And we're going to get the inside of the ear. So as you can see, it goes on runny. But you really want to use that to your advantage. So glob some on and then really rub it in. So this one is actually, like this particular cowl is actually the very first one I pulled. Um, but I have a gentleman with a 23 inch head, like a solid 23. And he said that 24 inch cowls just don't fit him. So I wasn't going to let this one go, but it's a solid 23 because I ran it a little thick because I was learning the mold. But this one will fit him really well. But he requested that it be painted because he really liked the sheen on the other one, which is fine. If I was going to keep this for myself, I probably wouldn't have painted this one in particular just because it was the first casting. And it's nice to have it for like pros prosperity's sake, your first casting, kind of raw the way it was. But, sorry, I'm not even showing this part. So now we're rubbing it onto the forehead. Another thing that rubbing this in really helps with is to avoid streaks. So if I was just to paint this, um, I did use this on a flatter cowl that I made. Like this one has a bit of a texture, so it's got a bit of a bite. Helps distribute the paint really well. But I did this on one of my Hero cowls, which is a very smooth finish. And um, it did struggle a bit. Uh, I did struggle a bit to um, keep it from getting all runny. So I'm just going to try and get in the eyes here. And you don't want to leave, you don't want to leave too much in an area because yeah, you can have like a bit of running. So you really want to just rub everything in. Just make sure that before you go for another, another dip, your brush is like mostly dry. Just want to watch what you're doing here. This is my son crying in the background. I think he's hungry. Ugh. But my wife's got him, so. We're gonna go up here. As you can see, it's really runny. But you just use that to your advantage. You get right in there and you rub it on. Doing your best to avoid streaks. I don't know. I wasn't going to paint these, to be honest. But I ran low on pigment on one of my castings that first one that I showed you guys, and it was really, really gray. So I had no choice but to paint it, and I'd already tested this method before with a gift that I gave to Paul Roberts. I uh, customized one of my hero cowls to be a 66 Batman. So I had to paint it the blue and black color scheme. All right, so you guys get the gist of it. I'm gonna fast forward now to when the cowl's done and I'll show you guys that it's um, all sticking and everything. All right, so we're just finishing up here. I got way too much on my brush there. So we're just finishing up here at the bottom of the neck. I should not have dipped my brush because now it's really, really thick here, but that's okay. We'll just rub it in. I'm just going to get some of this off my brush. And rub this. 
this in. I'm going to scoop some of this. And I'm just going to look for any areas that maybe I missed. Check under the nose, maybe. It's easy to overlook those areas. Add a bit more. Looks like it's a little light right there. I'm grab some more from the back here. Rub it in. So that looks good to me. So just cover up your paint and let this dry. But um, I did mention that the top should be dry by now. So, so my hand, like this hand is covered in paint, okay? But here we have this hand, it's pretty. So I'll just do like a little pretty dry but you don't want to touch it too much just let this dry a full 24 hours and then it'll look oh, like this one and like I said this one is completely dry um, we'll do a bit of a flex test here so watch the ear you can see there's no buckling, no rubbing, stretches with it. I don't know why it works, but it works. And then just because I feel like it, I got this piece here too. This was a Beyond that had some air bubbles in the face, so I just cut it out and painted it blue. Same color, same stuff, just blue. Again, I don't know why it works, but it does. This is for sale, by the way, if anybody wants this particular cowl. There's only one of them. It was just, it had, air it had some imperfections in the face, so I cut it. And it's got a bit of like a little bit of like weird surface defects, but it's a nice cowl. 40 short urethane. Same cowl as this, but same cowl as this, sorry, can't get it in frame. But obviously, um, blue and missing a mouth. All right, guys. That's going to do it for the video. I've had a few people ask me how I paint these things, and nobody believes me. So there it is. Color shot. Just put it in a little container and apply it with a sponge brush. Boom. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.